I had my final exam today, which is why I look like this, but I am super overexposed, so hopefully that will balance it out and you won't have to see the horrific sight of what I look like after two weeks of exams. The sun keeps going in and out, so sorry for that too. And I also just drank some caffeinated tea by accident. So if I'm really shaky and weird in this video, that is why. I got some stuff in the Lush Boxing Day sale and because it was such a bargain, I wanted to share it with you. It was relevant like a month ago, I was going to show you then, but then exams happened and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to show you now. It's still exciting and I'm still allowed to be happy about how much money I saved. Even though saying that, I still spent over £30, even though most of the stuff I bought was half price. Whoops! Like I said, it's been over a month, so I don't actually remember what's in this bag. But yeah, let's just appreciate the bag for a second. Can we do that? Yes, it's so pretty. Kind of a bit screwed up now, because it's a month old. I know one thing, first of all, that wasn't in the sale, was this. Curly Whirly, my favourite thing in the world. This is a shampoo for curly hair. And I used to use it when I was in year seven. No idea why I was using Lush products in year seven, because I was 11. It's like thick, gloopy coconut in a pot. I used to have to pick the bits of coconut out of my hair afterwards because I don't know if they've changed the formula or what, but this looks a lot more, I don't know, gloopy and liquidy. Whereas before it had sort of bits of grated coconut in. Lots of people do ask me actually about how I look after my hair and I don't know why because I don't look after my hair. That's the short answer. But I do have some tips, so if you wanna hear them, let me know. And if you are struggling to maintain curly hair, then give this a go. It's a lot of money, but I'm sure if you wanted, you could get a little tester from the shop. But yeah, it's just really good for curly hair, at least from my knowledge from almost 10 years ago. I got two little bottles of shower gel. The first one is bubbly, which was a really citrusy smell, if I remember. Yeah, it's like a summery, fresh citrusy smell rather than a Christmassy citrusy smell, which is good because no one needs Christmassy citrusy, Chris, Christmassy citrusy smells. And obviously the other one was Snow Fairy. I, I'm not even particularly keen on Snow Fairy. I don't like sweet smelling things, but you just kind of have to, especially when it's half price. These are half price, so I can't complain. But if they're full price, this is five pounds. Like I get it. It's a good company, good ethics, good quality product, and it lasts a long time. But five pounds for this tiny bottle of shower gel. The thing is I'll still pay it. That's the problem. The rest of the stuff in the bag is bubble bars and bath bombs and Understandably, like I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying there was a queue to get in the shop And then there was a queue all around the shop to pay for your stuff So they were very busy and I understand but it's annoying because now I don't know what's what but they didn't print labels For the the bags with the little bath bombs in so I'm just gonna go into this blind and Guess what they are apologies if I get it wrong. Ah, I know this one. It's butter bear This is more like a challenge video than a haul video. I think okay, so this is butter bear I've never, have I used it? I don't know. Potentially I have one already and I just haven't used it yet. But it just, it just smells plain. Vanillary. My battery's gonna die, my battery's gonna die. Let's, let's rush through this. Next up, is this Shoot for the Stars? It might be called Shoot for the Stars, it might be called something else. The typical Lush smell, like when you walk into Lush and you're just overwhelmed with smells. That is this. Nice though. This one's a star, but that was, I thought that was called Shooting Stars. And I thought this was called Shooting Star. It's white. It smells like butter bear. It smells nice. It's pretty. No clue what this is. I hate rhubarb and custard. And when I look at this, that is what I see. <laughs> Potentially that's what it's supposed to smell of. I don't know. You know those lollies you get, which are like powdery. They're basically the same texture as a bath bomb. You get them at Halloween. That's what this smells of. And it looks like this as well, actually. Maybe it's supposed to. Maybe that's the point. Battery, please don't die on me. Please don't die on me. Oh, Northern Lights. I know this one too. They changed the shape into like a pill. Before it was round, I swear. It smells like a spa. Very nice. Two months ago, can we do it before the battery dies? Candy Mountain. It smells like Snow Fairy and bubblegum and niceness. But it's too sweet. It reminds me of like nice, happy things, but it's too sweet for me. I kind of wish I liked this smell more because it's pink. So I feel like I should like it but it's just, it's too much for me. I told you this was gonna be a challenge video. It literally is a challenge before my battery dies. Oh, so white. They changed it. It's green, I swear it used to be red, but it's an apple. Mm. I quite like that. It's very fresh. I like fresh smells. I've noticed that recently. I feel like I'm growing up. So that's everything I got from Lush in the Boxing Day sale, which was over a month ago. Like I told you we wouldn't mention it, but then I brought it up like 12 times, so. <laughs> 
and we finished the video before the battery died. I'm gonna wrap this up really quickly. Thank you very much for watching. I have so many plans for 2017 in terms of this channel. So stick around and I will see you very soon. Bye. Bye.